Welcome to Oak Stadium and Mike Berger Field as tonight. It's NCAA soccer here at Lafayette as the Lafayette Leopards take on the St. Peter's Peacocks. Madee kicks it toward the net. First opportunity and a save for Levy. So the first time Levy sees the ball and a nice move here as it goes forward. Here's a shot. It is tipped and finally swept away by Julian Plummer. So that is the first time that Plummer has shown why he is a preseason All-Patriot League selection and a corner coming up here. Toward the box and Levy skies and makes the save. Here's Galini's kick into the goal area and making an easy save. First time today is David Giddings. See Ryan Egan playing forward and the Leopards trying to get a break on the far side with Vigiani plays back for Egan. Had a right foot on it but couldn't transfer to the left and it's broken up. And it will be West. West trying to bend it and a save made by David Giddings. Luke Fairlamb to put it in play. The left footer. And it's fisted away by the keeper, Sandy Levy. Fairlamb, so the third corner in this first half. The left footer, Fairlamb from England to the box, and Levy makes the save. Umanzer is a sophomore out of Morristown, New Jersey. So a corner here. Medee trying to bend it. It goes well beyond. It's headed back toward the goal mouth area. It is loose, a shot, and deflected away. And I believe it was Galini who deflected it away for the Leopards. And now the freshman, Fellman, does a nice job of breaking up the play. And here comes Anson. Marcel Medee gets it ahead here for Broncotti, who has speed. Broncotti had the best shot so far. Nice pass inside for Fairlamb. Left footer stops. Tries to go back to the left, slid and broken up nicely by the Leopards, Andrew Gonzalez. The Leopards with one free kick on goal, and that's really been their offense so far. Now here is Galini trying to get inside. Here's a shot, and it goes over the crossbar, but a foul on that play. All in the box. The left footer, the kick to the far side, and Bigiani tried a header. It went right to the far side for Egan. His kick was deflected. He now heads it for McCutcheon. McCutcheon throws it in front. It's still loose. Cleared, but not away. And finally, it comes out of the box. Here's a turnaround, and this will go over the end line and out of play. About nine yards away. Galini into the box, and a score! And I believe it was deflected by Eric West. As it went past David Giddings and Lafayette leads it 1 0. Broncotti near the corner of the box. This one's on goal. It is headed and it just goes wide. 27 13 to play here in the second half, and Sandy Levy's kick. All the way toward the box, it is headed by. Broncotti, it goes in front, and a shot turning wide by Tom McCutcheon. Tries to play forward. Here's the freshman, Daniel Fellman. Fellman finds Egan. Bigiani on side, trying to beat the defense. He has a right foot shot. Centers it nicely for Egan, and now Galini to the far side to the left. Here's McCutcheon, takes the shot, and it goes wide. Luke Fairland. What a nice ball ahead for Marcel Madé. Madé on the left wing. Settles, throws to the top of the box, and it comes in on goal, and Levy's there to come out and slide to cover up. Egan and West all deep in the box. The kick in front, tried to bend it wide, and Lafayette almost had a hit. It looked like Egan was close to it. Nonetheless, we will play 10 on 10 the rest of the way. Here's a shot, and it is a save by Sandy Levy. The 122nd coaching victory for Dennis Bond. More importantly, his offense 
showed up in the second half. And Lafayette will win this match by a score of 1-0.